at Krishna. So uh, in this video, we'll be preparing a dish that is uh, very tasty. Uh, it's a quick snack and for people who love snacks and quite healthy, then this is just the dish for you. So um, what are we making? Bell puri. So let's start. Okay, so the ingredients are a, me a medium sized onion finely chopped, some coriander, a small sized tomato finely chopped, and in this plate I have chaat masala, oregano, black pepper, chili flakes, some pink rock salt, you can use any type of salt, and some red chili powder. And I have some puffed rice here. And I've, ta I've, I've took all of these uh, um, ingredients in uh, respective to the puffed rice. So let's start. And uh, also uh, these uh, items like uh, the mixture, onion and uh, the lemon juice. So we're going to use this at the last. Uh, just to make it more crispy and more tastier. Let's start. Okay, so to the puffed rice. Since we like uh, the belpuri to be more crispier, we are just going to add the onions in the last. Yes. So first, let's add our tomatoes. So what do you think, how many tomatoes did you take and uh, what do you suggest? Well, I just took one tomato because I thought a little less of tomatoes would be better. A small tomato. Mm -hmm. So if you have, uh, if you want to make it a uh, uh, bit more quantity of uh, puffs rice, then add more tomatoes. Yes. So now I'm just adding all of these ingredients that is the oregano, salt, pepper, chili flakes and chaat masala. Well while doing this you may notice your um, belpuri is quite dry which is totally normal. So once that's mixed properly Add your mixture. Well, Kerala mixture would be the perfect match for this. But since I don't have Kerala mixture, I'm just using the type of mixture that I have at home. Mix it well. Because if you don't, then half of the Belpuri won't have much taste. So once that's mixed properly, now I'm adding my onions. Well, onions give an awesome flavor to the bel puri. So I just took uh, one medium sized onion. And that's a homegrown onion. Yeah. Mm. Just mix it well. Well, I suggest to add your onions raw because that will give, uh, you know, 100% of the properties it has in it. But if you guys suggest frying it with a little bit of oil, then um, I suggest you not to do that because the onions will lose half of its properties there. Next, I'm adding half of a lemon juice, de-seeded. Half sliced. Yeah. Well, lemon gives an awesome flavor to the bel puri. It's like that's the magical element in it. So if you have lemon, then please don't forget to add it. Because that is what gives your bel puri the magical element. Once that's done, now finally <laughs> add your coriander. 
well it's fine if you don't chop your cori coriander you can just sprinkle it on the bel puri just like that or if you like it to be you know nicely mixed then mix it smells good ha so well for those who like this bel puri soft you can let this sit for 10 to 15 minutes since that uh, the onion releases its water and makes the bel puri a little soft but those who like it crispy can dig in right now crispy should be good because uh, the way it looks and the way it tastes so it's a perfect match so if you have it crispy yeah so that is a recipe of how to do bel puri in a healthy way mouth watering so let's have it yes And it looks good as well. Here you go. Okay, I have a camera in on my hand, so let me taste. Yeah, pinch of salt is missing, I guess. So we'll add it. However, it looks nice, tastes good. What do you say? Well, the best part about this recipe is that it's totally healthy and superb. Very easily, you can make it at home and very tasty. So hope you guys uh, like this recipe and uh, try it out, and it'll be good. Trust me. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy.